Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing two episodes seven and eight of Minami Case. Let's go ahead and get started with episode seven in three, two, hold on. Gotta make sure. In three, two, one. What we doing it? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Got your ass beat again. Oh, Chiaki, <gasps> that is why. You look really similar. <laughs> oh, Chiaki, if you, baby, if you would just figure it out. Okay. I wonder how the hell this is gonna go. You gotta be in sync with them, okay? Hopefully, because <laughs> it's Chiaki we talking about.
Oh, good. I'm not hungry. She like what's her face? <laughs> mm-hmm. And the whole thing went out of the audit bunch. Better make that ish count. <laughs> Cause she's gonna be home. Really, oh my god, it's printing something out. <laughs> Never mind. Freaking Christ, girl. You're right. See, if she ate my ish, bitch, we'd be fighting. We would be fighting. I don't care who you are. We're like, bitch, let's go. <laughs> Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend you didn't say that, babe.
Oh, that's what's going on. There you go. Now you don't have to worry about it. Problem solved. You had to say that. She <laughs> Oh my god. It's just overcomplicating things right now. That's Oh no. <laughs> Where do you think he was like a I feel like, excuse me, I have to go home. You only got shorts. Why do I feel like this is about to be an erection story? Because <laughs> it feels like it's a fact. Especially for Makoto. <laughs>
-hmm. <laughs> but I think the thing is, I think she kind of misunderstood. <laughs> of course, the raccoon was supposed to be representing. <laughs> I mean, they are. They're they're extremely cute, but you know when they're not cute, um, when you have to deal with them when they're in your trash and such, that's when ish goes down. But they're the cutest little things. I can watch them from afar, maybe a little bit up close, but not too too close. But still, know they're cute regardless. But I think the raccoon was, of course, signifying is and such, <laughs> but. <laughs> Once again, I feel like Makoto hit his little quote unquote secret. It's gonna come out. I thought we were getting it today, but we were like, no, not today. It's coming though. Because I feel like we're he he's coming oh okay. No. I'll say it like this. The bathroom moment of him going to using the restroom. And literally, thank God it was Kana of all people. Who freaking came into the bathroom? I cannot imagine if it was Haruka or Chiaki coming in the room. Because that would have been so messed up. I'd be like, oh, shit. But the fact is, poor baby has to come up with oh so many freaking lies. Is freaking nuts. And I feel for him. Like, damn. Poor baby. It sucks. Uh oh. It's okay. It was an accident. No, 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 no. Chiaki. At least you're not hurt. Kinda shut up! I like the ones with the lids. Those are nice. Of course, <laughs> of course you get the one with the bear. They save my oh my god. Well, I mean it's okay to match. Come by <laughs> It really isn't. Mm-hmm. See, get the one that is your personality. There you go. Yeah, you want a pink mug? We got two more pink mugs left. You want them? Yeah, it's fine.
Okay, now you only really have one mug left. Who are you giving that to? Uh, we're not giving the pink mug to Fujioka. What is more than a lover? What's up? Their personalities. Nope. You snooze, you lose, Kana. Should have chose something good. Oh, it's potatoes. I want some takoyaki. It looks so bad. See, it's funny because, like, my mom told me, like, what, yesterday? Because this is speaking of takoyaki in a nutshell. My mom said I had octopus when I was a kid. I really don't remember that. I must, and I said it, I must have said it tastes good because ish. I would try it again eventually. But, okay, Makoto. Makoto, Makoto, Makoto. One day your big little secret is going to come out and. I don't know how he's still going to really necessarily feel about that and such, but the the fact is, as I said, there he's running out of lies. There is, there's no way that, because I think I maybe have one more season after this season, I think. I have to check. Um, there's no way in hell that he's going to keep it for the whole fucking series. But there, it, it's a big possibility, because look at where we are right now. We're technically on season three, and he's still, you know, doing this like it's nobody business. Now, I love the mugs. I think the bear mug for Chiaki and the um, the fishtail are in a way like the skeleton fish for um Haruka. It, it suits them both very well. Kinda the pink is very her in a way. I mean, that's the typical girly thing to do. You know, if you don't really like anything else, then yeah, you just pick a color and typically most of us girls just go for pink. As someone who loves the crap out of pink, I definitely would too. But I would, you know, also like try to some, do something with it. Mammogram it. Put, put your first initial of it and such. Especially in the end, they all both had the same freaking cup. And the biggest thing is they could have gone out, um dead ass gone to like I think maybe like a hardware store or something you know that uh like places that sell this not the it's kind of the silicone the the little um the letters that you can like spray print on something they could have did that and then harden it so that you know each one of them could have told okay this is Chiaki's this is Kana's this is Haruka's and that problem would have been solved but the fact that both Toma and Fujioka both got the other two mugs and Fujioka's over here like oh my god this is more than a lover. We're, we're now, like, technically married. But, you know, I mean, you can still say a lover for, like, your freaking husband or wife. So, <laughs> duh. But, and then he sees Toma, and Toma's like, oh. Uh-oh. But at least they did explain to them why there were three identical mugs. <laughs> Excuse me. But not nah, dead ass. That, that was, like, hilarious. But. I love the fact that those two people... Uh, I cannot speak. Oh, my God. Both Chiaki and Makoto got to get the extra practice that they needed. And so that was sweet. Even the story of the freaking room, room, fucking hilarious. Fucking hilarious. Did not think that was, they were going to do something like that to insinuate that. But, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but God of Hot's video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight, and hold on. In three, two, 
one, go. Potatoes. But she hungry though. You gonna deny your hungry friend? I mean, it's just a random conversation, you know? Kana! Weakness of feel. <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. Smart. A for effort. Please. I, I just love the fact that she has. How did it go, babe? <laughs> Just be like, mm, I can't. <laughs> what the absolute F? Are you serious?
Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Maki. Well, what now? <laughs> that substitute pro. You guys don't fight! That quickly, though. It's just right now, Toma is comfortable as fuck. <laughs> Toma's like, this is exactly what I needed. Well, baby, you fell asleep. Mm-hmm. Oh! Nice, Makoto.
I don't know, be yourself, kind of, but, I mean, honestly, uh, uh, how do you really answer that question for Kana, because Kana, Okay, so then what's the deal? I swear to God, Connor. Happy girl. True. Yeah. So will we say this is a big misunderstanding? What's up? I, I mean, well, damn, there she go without saying nothing, but... What were you, she was pointing over to, I had to be calling this ass and because you also. I said, okay, cool. Uh-huh. Oh my god, now she's asking the question. <laughs> Girl, what? Moral of the story is big old misunderstanding, okay? Okay? I, I mean, but I feel bad for Keiko because Keiko is under this pressure from two different people. Be like, oh my God, what does this mean when person A gets hugged by person B from behind? Oh my God. And then, of course, Keiko's like, you know what? I really don't know. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and ask Kana. And Kana. Kana with her being her kana -ness. Honestly, can't give an answer either. But I think even if I was asking the question, 
I, I would be like, well, maybe it could have been accidental. It could have been like, oh, maybe on purpose saying like, oh, hey, I care for you and I want to give you a hug and stuff. And some guys are like that and such. But really, who knows? It's just, you know, sometimes we overthink certain things. Who knows? It, it possibly didn't even mean anything. It'd be like that. Just that's like, that's the last thing you think about if it really meant something. Don't go up to the guy or the girl and be like, hey, so what are we? <laughs> Don't do that. Because <laughs> the guy or the girl is going to look at you like you are fucking nuts. <laughs> Spike. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but, I mean, and don't worry, don't get me wrong, like, he is a really good-looking guy, but the thing that pisses me off is he has only eyes for Chiaki, I mean, not Chiaki, Haruka, and he is literally, like, any other girl is non-existent to him. At least sprinkle yourself out to other girls' potential relationships before you be like, hey, yo, this is my one-woman girl, and it's, I need her in my life. Screw all y'all. No, he didn't unbutton his shirt. Because he's known for that. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Maybe. Not really. <laughs> But damn, just like that, we collect the balls and then we out. Damn, bruh. Here we fucking go. <laughs> the fucking laugh.
the towel but love on it. Oh my god. I mean, that last little bit just sounded hella erotic. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he, he's such a fucking creep. But it's fucking hilarious. Snap out of it, dumbass. I secretly do wish the kid that they uh that was their neighbor and such kind of you know still returns because I said that in season two but something tells tells me we're not gonna see him again now how's like a senpai y you need to calm your ass down once again but when it comes to his love or his you know infatuation with Hanukkah senpai he can't yeah you know, I mean not Hanukkah senpai Hanukkah in a nutshell he can't help but go into like the deep 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 backwoods of his imagination and fantasies I mean you know us girls we do that too but we do that with like um the fictional characters we're in love with secretly and such or just like anytime so like anytime when we are with our guy our boyfriends and such secretly we over here thinking about and my character X, Y, and Z, and it's like that, because, duh. You know, like, me, I, like, even though I am single, I'm in multiple relationships with anime men that is not even funny and such. So, anytime when a guy literally will come in for with me and shit and just be like, oh, hey, they're like, thank you for that, thank you. I am sick, and even though they've got on my hand. But, no, I, I thought literally just the pretending to be weak so that someone can help you was really cute. Even he felt bad for Maki because Maki was like, "Oh my god, like oh, this hurts so much, I can't get it. Can you help me? Oh, you can't open it? Then I can't open it either. Like, fuck you. Damn. Damn. Like seriously, <laughs> that was so messed up. Though. I felt bad for her. Oh my god. And then you know." Just learning everything else of, like, trying to get a, you know, a guy and such. But I feel like still in a way they were kind of doing it the wrong way, but it's okay. <laughs> and and then the, just the situation of person A and person B in the hug just... That was something. That's all I'm going to fucking say about that. That was something. Good fucking bye. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Shorts episode 7 and 8 of season 3 of Me Nami K. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.